Yuri Melkumyan's son was injured in shelling of the Nagorno Karabakh village of Shos. Amid broken glass and debris that litters his home, he's urging for an end to the war. <laughs> Saying that children, women and the elderly are dying. But at present, there is no end in sight. As the sun rose on Sunday morning, a humanitarian ceasefire that had come into force just a few hours earlier was already breaking down, with Azerbaijan and Armenia both accusing each other of violations. Azerbaijan said its Agdam region, adjacent to Nagorno-Karabakh, was being shelled, and that Armenia had opened fire with large-caliber weapons along the border. Armenia denies this and accused the Azeri army of firing twice during the night and using artillery. Azerbaijan had also rejected a request to withdraw wounded soldiers from the battlefield, the country said. Azerbaijan described that statement as misinformation. In the Azeri city of Ganja on Sunday, people sifted through rubble for their belongings after a missile attack the day before. The mood among residents like Ragibe Gulieva is defiant. Our people are humanist. We have a beautiful nation. Armenia should know that we will not bow to them as people of Ganja. We will take back Karabakh from them if it comes to that. At least 750 people have been killed since September the 27th, when fighting erupted over the breakaway region, which is internationally recognized as part of Azerbaijan, but is governed and populated by ethnic Armenians. The latest ceasefire, brokered by Russia, was an attempt to stop the bloodshed after a previous truce collapsed.